Hey Leo, Everlong Mystic here. So I've been wanting to do something a little bit different just for a series and it's um, it involves just reading with colors. Now I bought these um, all these cards and they're like those paint chip cards where they have a bunch of colors of um, just a bunch of colors, hundreds of colors and each color has its own name you know like like when you go to the store and you pick out a few colors, um, color cards to see what color of paint you want to buy. So anyway, so out of those hundreds, I grabbed a handful and I'm just kind of mixing them around for you and we're going to read a stack of them. All right. Ooh. Here we go. Not you. All right. Ooh, Jack and the Beanstalk, no way! You have this pretty, pretty green here. Very vivid green, and it's called Jack and the Beanstalk. And that's interesting. There, are, There is so much that can come from that, just the story itself. So, you got some magic beans, Leo? Okay, so this is after. Okay, so... <clears throat> I want to say there was a, just with like thinking about magic beans, it makes me think of like how one character in that story thought the other person was super gullible and they were kind of, you know, lashed out at. And then we have here coming up this real ashy color and it's called After the Fire. Almost as if maybe someone didn't believe you about something, Leo. Um, but that was before. So I'm wondering what changed. Oh, <gasps> pyramid. That is very cool. That's like that's like a bunch of things lining up perfectly and having like this mega mega energy center. And there was a green flash. What? It literally says green flash. What did you do, Leo? Did you conjure something? There seems like there's a lot of um, magic kind of undertones here. Jack and the Beanstalk, after the fire, a pyramid, a green flash. This is like a past life story or something, or like where you came from, or is this some kind of an Atlantean thing, or... An avalanche. What? That's crazy. Because I know, like, Atlantis, it was like, what was it, a flood or something? But here we have an avalanche, which is like a force, you know, something, some kind of force of nature. It's like this green flash was a force of nature, but really, I want to say it would have come from the pyramid. Like that energy was amplified by the pyramid. Where are you taking me, Leo? So here we have another green. So far, that's, that's the third green card you have, Leo. So you have another green here, and it's Lazy Lizard. So what would a lazy lizard do? Perhaps he would teleport. <laughs> Perhaps he would teleport. All right, so here we have tissue. Now, I don't know. I mean, like the first thing that came to my mind was, do you need a tissue for your issues? So is somebody being a crybaby? I don't know, like, I mean, it's coming right underneath after the fire, like, now, like, if your house burned down, you have every right to be sad, and you're going to probably need a lot more than a tissue. I don't know. Perhaps that's all the lazy li lizard is willing to offer you. Just a tissue. Still, it kind of makes me think, like, <clears throat> I mean, just kind of over here, we've got that, you know, like, somebody not believing you, you know, or... 
Someone not willing to go the extra mile for you? Yet you, Leo, have all this freaking magic going on over here. Oh my gosh, don't waste your magic on them. <laughs> if that's your scenario. Um, you have another green card. Look at you. Look at you, heart chakra. All right. So this one is just a sprig of mint. And you know, a sprig of mint mm, and some tea. Yum. But you know what? Mint can get out of hand. Like, it, you know, like if you pl plant it in a pot versus planting it like directly in the yard or the grass or the garden, it'll take over the whole garden. That's why you keep it in a pot. And that's funny that's, that's coming out underneath this pyramid because just the fact that the, like the pyramid can completely amplify the energy of something, you know, like of a crystal or whatever. I mean, like there's, there's like, char like crystal charging stations that have, that they're in the shape of a pyramid. It's like that, that shit can get out of hand, right? You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a, a, a tiny little message to be careful. Yeah, there's a, you hold a lot of magic, Leo, here. And um, just be careful and make sure you know what you're getting into. If you are, if you're doing, if you're doing stuff. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. I kind of like this. It's a blank canvas. Wow, that is actually really cool. I mean, it's almost like, because I'm noticing that we have, like, of this very light, almost white, white, light, almost white, like, all these light cards. It's like, it's this light within you, right? And you are completely tuned in to your heart space here, Leo, and it packs a wallop of magic. It's like the, the, it's like the world is a blank canvas for you. Like, how would you, how do you want to paint it? Maybe that's the be careful part, right? That little be careful part with this sprig of mint. Be careful where you plant this. Because it can do almost anything. Oh, another light color. Look at you. Ooh, sand dollar. Okay, so we have this color is called sand dollar. And I kind of like that because <clears throat> it is, I mean, to me, it's talking about money. It's talking about money. And like you, dude, you can, I want to say you're like in a very, a very good manifestation period right now. So like have at it because you have the magic within you. Just be careful because you don't want to get carried or carried away and within these powers in this pyramid this energy right that you have within you it does include money too so if you if you want to manifest some some you know some finances some some money rolling in and out you very well could right now all right so here we have Stepping stone and the scarlet letter. Hmm. Seems scandalous. But you know what? This scarlet letter. The scarlet letter is coming out in this row that's under like after the fire, which is related to like someone not really believing believing you or believing in you, right? Or not, you know, oh, you've been fooled. That's not magic. Or, you know what I mean? And I want to say that, like, the scarlet letter, that's like, they're trying to, they're trying to give you the scarlet letter, right? They're trying to dress you in that. But I think it ends up on them. Because that's what they, that's what they're attracting to themselves. And you, like, it's like you've been around the block, you know, just like Capricorn, you've been around the block, you know a thing or two. You're, you're not as, you know, you're not as gullible as they think you are. <clears throat> like, and you're like, hold, you know, this is just a stepping stone. You know what I mean? It's like, there are, 
It's like there are so many steps into manifesting something. It's like you manifest the steps. You don't manifest the something, right? And you and you know this and you're doing this and they they have no idea. It's like they they just see like three stupid seeds in your hand and and they don't realize that the seed is a step. Don't listen to them, Leo. <laughs> oh my gosh, and then you have Yellow Brick Road? What? Holy awesomeness. I like it. Follow the Yellow Brick Road, Leo. <laughs> and you'll end up home. And you know what? Home is where your heart is. And the heart is the green all over here. Ooh. All right, good health. Okay, so we have um, this orange color here, but it's actually turmeric. And I'm just, it's, there are so many health benefits of turmeric. I just see that as a good, as a good omen, a good sign for you. Ooh. And we're ending on fresh butter. Like butter, baby. All right, Leo. Fresh butter. So this is your, <laughs> this is your message. I'm not actually going to read the butter, but I like it. I like it. So, um, this is very interesting. I am like super interested in the, the whole pyramid and the green flash and what's going on. But if you, um, if you've manifested anything lately and it's been freaking amazing, yay you, I'm happy for you. And, um, I will see you later. Bye Leo.